Hello there and welcome to CS Watch OCR J276. This is the first part where we are looking at cultural issues around in computing. So when we're thinking about cultural issues, uh, we're thinking about how groups of people who belong to different groups, religions, countries, might be infected by something. And again, we're thinking about stakeholders, who stakeholders are, how can stakeholders be impacted by something happening. So let's have a look and think about some cultural issues. As I mentioned previously in the ethical video, censorship is a massive, massive cultural issue. Uh, for example, in China, they have really heavy uh, restrictions as to what can be accessed online, what can't be accessed online. In Cuba, um, citizens can only go to specific government-controlled locations to have full internet access. If you did that in the UK and said, right, okay, nope, you can't do that, we're going to censor your internet usage, people wouldn't be happy because we've grown up with these freedoms. In China and Cuba, because of what happened with them in the past, um, they have, don't have that. Different ways of governments, different ways of living. In most countries, there are restrictions for websites in regards to pornography uh, to try and put some form of age verification to make sure that indecent material is on access to people by underage, to make sure that people who are not old enough to uh, do anything to do with gambling are taken away from gambling. Um, we've got the idea of cyber censorship where, um, and surveillance where people campaign against it because they look at the worst case scenario, okay, then what can happen with the information that could be gained? Culturally speaking, some people may think that a predominant race or a predominant gender or a predominant ethnic background might be um, surveillanced more. And again, that's another cultural issue which we need to be thinking about if we're thinking about censorship online. Again, if we're thinking about data privacy, there's massive cultural issues here, age restrictions and limitations for data gathering. Does everybody who sign up for Facebook know that if they're underage, that they they can't be on Facebook? People join it when they're younger because of peer pressure. Oh, my friend's on Facebook, so I need to join Facebook, even though I'm not going to be old enough. It's even the same for apps um, which adults use, such as Tinder, because, again, age restrictions in place. It should be it's used for a certain target audience. If we're thinking about this culturally we're getting into a society which people see the lines being blurred and again if we think about the stakeholders with this if we think about the stakeholders of information used by a social media site the people who use it that we can then categorize those into different backgrounds we can think about the employees of the social networking website we can think about local communities we can think about target audiences so straight away if we're looking at one of these points Scribble down on a piece of paper who the stakeholders are. Why are they stakeholders? How are they impacted? So, in this video, we've looked at a couple of cultural issues. In part two, we'll look at a couple of more cultural issues. But again, when you're going through this, and I know I keep repeating this on every single one of these videos, but we need to be making sure we're looking at the cultural issue or whichever issue it is. We need to be looking at the stakeholders. And even if it is just stating the obvious, that you state the obvious down and talk about stakeholders and who they are and how they impacted. Okay, that's enough for me for now, and I shall see you in part two of Cultural Issues. See you later.